welcome to csc guru in this session we will discuss one more example to implement graph coloring problem using backtracking technique so this is the given graph and here m is equal to 3 they have given three colors using these three colors we have to construct the state space tree to implement graph coloring problem using backtracking technique so what is graph coloring problem so graph coloring problem is nothing but we need to assign a color to each vertex such that no two adjacent vertices should be assigned same color. So that is the constraint here. And this graph coloring problem we can be able to implement using backtracking technique by constructing the state space tree. Already we have discussed one example to implement graph coloring problem and this is the second example. And here the state space tree will start with the initial state. So initial state we will consider it as 0. So this will be considered as the root of the state space tree. And here if you are considering they have given 3 colors. M is equal to 3. Red, green and blue. Suppose for vertex A if I am assigning red in the sense. That is possibility is I can assign red to A. Similarly I can assign green to A or I can assign blue to A. Suppose if I am assigning red to vertex A in the sense B and C are adjacent to A. So again red should not be assigned to B and C. That is the meaning. For vertex B red if you are assigning in the sense that is a dead end because that is the main constraint in graph coloring problem. No two adjacent vertices are of same color. The adjacent vertices should be assigned with different colors. Okay. So that is the important logic in graph coloring problem. So for B vertex, red we cannot able to assign. And we can able to assign green for B. Similarly, blue for B. Blue is also possible. Because A vertex is red. A is red in the sense either you can give green or blue to B. That is possible. Suppose if you are giving green in the sense. Next to vertex C. Can I give red? No. Because C is adjacent to A. A is already assigned with red. So C we cannot be able to assign with red. And for vertex C. Can I give green? C is adjacent to B. B is already assigned with green. So, we cannot able to assign green to vertex C. Okay. Next. The other color we have to choose for C. Okay. So, for C, we can assign blue color. Next. Since these are all dead ends, we need to backtrack to the previous step and check the other possibilities. Okay. That is the actual logic of backtracking. Next. Step. Three vertices we have assigned the color. Next, fourth vertex D. And for D, can I give red? If I am giving red, its adjacent vertices are C and B. C is assigned with blue color and B is assigned with green color. So, red we can assign to D. That possibility is there. And this will be considered as solution 1. Okay, next up. Can I assign green to D? No. This is a dead end. If we are assigning green to D in the sense B is already assigned with green. Adjacent vertices will be of same color. This will not satisfy our problem constraint. Okay. Can I assign blue to D? No. That is also a dead end. Because blue is already assigned to C. B and C. What is the color you have assigned? That should not be assigned to D. Similarly for A. Because to B and C. A is also adjacent. D is also adjacent. But you can assign same color for A and D. No way A and D is connected here. Okay. That is the logic. So now we got one solution here. Here they have given only three colors. And for each color we have checked the possibility for D. Next for C if you are considering all three colors we have checked the possibility in this level. So backtrack to previous step. B if you are considering red and green we have checked the possibility. So, backtrack to previous step and check the possibility for blue. Okay. So, if I am assigning red to A and blue to B in the sense. For C, can I assign red? Already A is assigned with red. So, we cannot able to assign red to C. This is a dead end. And can I assign green to C? Yes, that is possible because A is assigned with red. B is assigned with blue in the sense we can assign green to C. That is possible. 
okay next d if you are considering in the sense red is assigned to a blue is assigned to d and green is assigned to c can i assign red to d yes this is a solution solution 2 okay this is one more solution a is assigned with red b to blue and c with green d with red again okay next up here can i assign for d green no because c is assigned with green that is a dead end can i assign blue for d no b is assigned with blue so we cannot be able to assign blue again to its adjacent vertex t so we have checked all three possibilities for d next up backtrack to the previous level and check the possibility for c c already we have checked the possibility with the red and green can i assign for c blue color no that is not possible because b is assigned with blue that is a adjacent vertex okay and if you are assigning any color to b in the sense all three vertices are adjacent so this color you should not assign to c also a also d also now for c we have checked all three possibilities backtrack to the previous step and check the possibility for b and for b all three possibilities we have checked for red green and blue next backtrack to the previous step and if you are assigning red color to a what is the possibility of color for other vertices we have checked okay again backtrack to the previous step root node and check the possibility for green to vertex a and follow the same procedure with the green color and if you are assigning green color for a in the sense here also if you construct the complete state space tree you will get two more solutions similarly backtrack to the previous step and assign blue color for vertex a in the sense here also you will get two more solutions okay if you construct the complete state space tree and this is the procedure to construct the state space tree and the solution path we are considering in the sense this is one solution and the second solution is this is second solution okay so solution 1 if you are considering in the sense vertex a b c and d a is assigned with red color and b is assigned with green color c with blue color again d with red color okay and the second solution if you are considering in the sense a is assigned with red color b with blue color and c with green color d with red color this is second solution again if you are constructing the complete state space tree by assigning green color to a in the sense a and d no way it is connected so a and d you can assign same color and here you can exchange red and blue color similarly solution 4 if you are considering in the sense green with a and d blue with b and red with c this is two more solutions if you are assigning green color to a similarly if you are assigning blue color to a in the sense you will get two more solutions that is blue color for a and d in the sense green and red you can exchange for c and d similarly yes it's if you are considering in the sense blue for a red for b green for c again blue for d so these are all the possible solutions for graph coloring problem for this given graph similarly for your practice you construct these two state space tree and what is the chromatic number for this given graph so here chromatic number is nothing but what is the minimum number of colors required to color this given graph by satisfying the graph coloring problem constraint what is the constraint here each vertex you can assign a color such that no two adjacent vertices are of same color that is the main constraint in graph coloring problem so here how many minimum number of colors is required to color this given graph a and d is not adjacent you can give same color to a and d and a different color to b that will be second color here if you are considering c in the sense you cannot assign color 1 also and you cannot assign color 2 also here you need to give a different color only so that may be color 3 okay so here to color this given graph minimum number of colors required is 3 so the chromatic number for this given graph is 3 thank you for watching this video